we've come to one of the most crucial parts of speeding up your site, and that's optimizing your images. And according to Google, images can account for 60% of a page's total weight. So if you could only work on one aspect to speed up your site, I would encourage you to optimize your images. There are three things we're going to look at in this lesson. Different file types, file quality, and how to automatically optimize images in WordPress. Which of these images do you think is the largest file? I saved all the images in the same image editing program. The left is the original, the two in the middle are JPEGs at different qualities, and the last is a PNG file. Now to my naked eye, they're all very high quality, and I can't tell the differences between them. In this case, the JPEG files are much smaller than the PNG file, and the different quality levels make a big difference. The point of this example is to demonstrate how drastically you can improve speed just by saving images as the right file type and the right file quality. Let's take a look at another example. Which of these files do you think is larger? Left is JPEG and the right is PNG. How many of you expected the JPEG to be lowest again? JPEGs and PNG files store pixel data in a completely different way, so they're very good at different things, and you want to save some types of media in one format and other media in a different format. JPEGs are really great for photographs because they can handle lots of different colors. They're also very small in general, and they do have an adjustable compression rate, so you can choose the quality level when you export. PNG files are great for illustrations and graphics because they can handle few colors very well. They also support transparency, but you can't choose different quality levels. You may have also heard about a different file type called a scalable vector graphic, or an SVG. SVGs use shapes, numbers, and coordinates rather than a giant list of pixels to render graphics. This means they're very easy to scale and they're very small. Generally speaking, simple illustrations will work well in SVG or PNG formats. So if you want to experiment with SVGs and you have a graphic editor program like Photoshop, go ahead and export your logo as an SVG. If you like creating them and they're efficient for you, go ahead and keep using them. Just make sure that a PNG isn't smaller. In my case, the SVG file of my logo was about 50% bigger than the PNG file so I'm going to stick with that PNG file. So the first lesson is to choose the right file type depending on the type of asset that you're creating. Let's go back to the Fry Thief example. Most image editing tools have a quality setting for JPEGs, and you can often export at a lower quality, say 60 or 70%, and it's usually not noticeable at all. In this example, we went from 7.1 megabytes down to 1.2 megabytes at 60% quality, and it still looks great. If we want to reduce this further, we could also reduce the size of the image, meaning we could shrink it from 4,000 pixels down to 1,000 pixels at the same quality, and that would shrink the image down to 634 kilobytes, which saves about 50% of the space. And we could shrink this even further. Lucky for us, WordPress will automatically resize images when we upload them. So unless you want an image to be a very specific size, you shouldn't have to resize them manually. When I'm working on my own site, I can export images from an image editing program and upload them directly. But WordPress is great because it can be used by anyone, including people that don't have image editing programs. So you really want to install a plugin that'll automatically optimize images upon upload. This is different than automatically resizing images, which WordPress does by default. Optimizing images means reducing the file size similar to those JPEG quality levels. And there are a number of plugins and services that you can use. Compressed JPEG and PNG images is created by TinyPNG. They have a free tier where you can optimize about 100 images a month. Imageify also has their own plugin which lets you optimize 20 megabytes of images every month for free, and they have paid plans for more images. These are just a couple of plugins and services that you could use, and there are probably dozens of other examples that I could show you. When you're selecting a plugin that'll optimize images, you want to make sure that they can retain the original full-size image as a backup, just in case. 
They also should automatically optimize images upon upload. And a feature you don't need right now, but you might want in the future, is a new image format called WebP. This isn't supported in all browsers yet, so you don't want to create and upload WebP images, but they are a more modern format, and about 25% smaller than PNGs and JPEGs. So, if your image optimization plugin can handle this, you're ahead of the curve.